Breaking news now. News Channel 5 went to court this afternoon to demand access to important evidence in the Austin Harriff murder case. Harriff, the teenager prosecutor, say murdered a Martin County couple last August and then chewed on the flesh of one of his victims. The evidence, the interview Harriff did with Dr. Phil, an interview that never aired but is part of discovery evidence in the case. We go to News Channel 5's Alyssa Hyman live at the Martin County Courthouse. Alyssa. Michael <laughs> Kelly, the judge ruled in favor of News Channel 5, but delayed the release of Austin Harris' interview with Dr. Phil for two days to allow the defense to decide whether they will file an appeal. Now, this is an important case. News Channel 5 believes it's vital to hear what Austin said about those attacks during an interview he willingly granted before his arrest. Austin Harris' father had no comment following Wednesday's hearing to release his son's interview with the Dr. Phil show. Mr. Harris, do you have anything to say? No comment. Thank you. The interview conducted while Harris spent 49 days in the hospital following the deadly attack back in August. He's accused of killing John and Michelle Stevens and attacking their neighbor, Jeff Fisher, who tried to help. Fisher survived. And the time and the opportunity to control the pretrial publicity is now not on the eve of trial. Harris' defense fought to keep the record sealed, saying it would violate his privacy and his right to a fair trial. News Channel 5's attorney responded the interview done was with a national media organization and is part of a public record. It's absolutely a public record as it stands. The only issue is whether there is a reason to close off access to that public record. The judge ruled there's no reason to close off public access, and we've learned there will be no redactions to the Skype interview conducted with Harris. During the hearing, Harriff was spotted crying. Also in attendance, John Stevens' daughter, Ivy. Now, John Stevens' son declined to watch that interview, saying he did not want to hear what Harriff had to say, although we do know that Jeff Fisher, the neighbor who survived, did watch it. And as a reminder, again, it will be 48 hours before we can have access to that interview. Reporting live in Stewart, Alyssa Hyman, WPTV News Channel 5.